Hi everybody, my name's Kristen and I am the Fury Fighter. I'm so excited to be filming this video because it means I'm back and I'm finally feeling better. So I started with a cold at the end of January and it turned into pneumonia. Um, chronic illness plus respiratory infections are no fun at all. So the pneumonia luckily only lasted a week. I was on antibiotics and they helped for the eight days. Um, and then side note, I went out in the sun on the eighth day because I had been in bed for 10 days for the cold, eight days for pneumonia, I was going insane. So I went out in the sun and I got a reaction to the antibiotics. So really, really, really pay attention to the uh, bottle. Um, this time, unfortunately, I did not get direction or a reminder saying, do not go in the sun. Of course, they always say no alcohol, finish the antibiotics. But this one time, I did not remember hearing no sunlight. So I had that reaction, but despite that, the pneumonia was gone. About a week later, I had a 102 fever for two days, and then I got this cough. I kind of still have it. If I take deep breaths, um, I start coughing a little bit. I got bronchitis. So I am finally feeling better, but I got very, very scared because my Simsia lowers my immune system. I actually saw my doctor a couple of days ago and she said, Kristen, you've been on immunosuppressant drugs your whole life. Um, she said, I reviewed your whole history because I haven't, I haven't been with that doctor, uh, my current doctor for a long time. So she said, it's not the Simsia, Kristen. I think you're just getting sick like other people but it's a little bit easier for me to continue to catch things when I am initially sick. So the cold, the pneumonia, the bronchitis, uh, my lungs have had enough, but I'm taking extra precautions and I'm resting, resting, resting because I don't wanna get sick anymore. I want um, to continue to be happy living um, in remission. I know I'm gonna, I want to mention that a lot in my videos because I'm so happy and thankful for remission. So my GI reviewed a scope that happened on in October. I was just now following up with her because she's a bit of a drive. I go to Keck at USC and she said, Kristen, this is the best scope that I've ever seen. My inflammation was down. She saw little to no polyps and she said I was doing really, really well. So um, I'm healthy again. I have no more um, lung infections or coughing, bronchitis, pneumonia. And I wanna tell you what helped me through that whole time. So I work for a very, very understanding company and they know that health is my number one. If my health um, decreases, I will get even worse. So I was able to stay at home the entire week with the bronchitis. I was in bed, I was drinking fluids. My mom came over and pretty much reminded me every single couple hours that I needed to eat. Um, if I were to stay in bed, not eat, not drink fluids, this probably could have doubled. Living with a chronic illness, you need to kind of have that extra push for you to do things even if you're not feeling well. Um, a couple of my friends have said that they think that I've lost weight um, within this past week, but I'm on my eating, I'm back to meal prepping, um, I'm drinking my drip drop, um, electrolytes is super, super important. I'll do a future video about hydration, but I'm feeling better and I want you guys to take from this that it's important to not only focus on your IBD, but also little things like colds, because look at me, my cold turned into pneumonia. So if that means wearing extra coats outside, if it's really cold where you live to go to work, or if it means drinking a couple extra cups of electrolytes, staying in bed, giving up your weekends. I had to give up a couple of my weekends the past two months because I've been very, very sick. But um, I wanna be that example to you guys that you will get through this. 
and I'll be here every step of the way. Um, I'm looking at my comments, guys. So if you guys can comment any tips that you have for those IBD people, chronic illness people who experience other illnesses on top of their initial disease and what you guys do that helps. On my Instagram, uh, The Fury Fighter, a couple of you guys gave me some tips like to put um, vapo rub in socks and put them on. A lot of you guys drink tea uh, when you have bronchitis and anything like that. I think that would be super helpful for me and anybody else watching. So I will see you guys soon. Um, thanks for watching. Also, if you guys like my videos, um, go ahead and subscribe. These are an extension from my Instagram, like I said, and I want to help as many of you guys as possible. See you guys soon. Bye.